friends, it's Nancy. Um, I got a pile of garbage here. Um, so what I'm going to try tonight to, is to do a little craft with me. I've never done this before. I'm a little nervous about it because um, I'm a bit of a, a perfectionist. So I, I, you know, at all times I must appear competent. Um, that might not happen tonight. Anyway, junk journals, as you know, are meant for junk. So this is all the junk, um, well, not all the junk. This is a lot of the junk that I pulled out of my purse after our weekend away in Niagara Falls, plus a couple other things that I pulled out of my stash. Um, and I have put my um, organizer, my personal journal together. So uh, what I thought we'd do tonight is make um, a, a page that includes some of this ephemera from my trip to Niagara Falls. So right on top is a package from uh, saltwater taffy that was in the, the gift basket that we got at the hotel. And I've already cut some images out of it and made some little pieces of ephemera. So uh, I think I'm done with this, but we'll just kind of put it over here for now. Um, so let me, sh oh, I also made this little envelope. So it's made using a um, Edith Holden page and I got to use my new envelope punch um, that I got at, um, did I get it at Hobby Lobby? Maybe I got it at Hobby Lobby when we were in um, some place in New York State, Western New York State. I don't know where we were. <laughs> we were at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> uh, so I was able to make this envelope with my new punch board which was awesome and I put a little tag on it that has a cupid sorry there's a lot of shadow down here it's it, it is nighttime Oop. this is a staple I pulled out of a book anyway so I journaled a little bit about our trip and um, I'm gonna glue this to a page so our little Cupid. Maybe I'll do it that way so Cupid hangs down. Okay, <clears throat> so like I said, I've got my book done. I do intend to put um, some gold colored uh, book corners on it, but I just haven't done that yet. And I'm also going to do a, a hitch post closure on it. Again, just haven't done that part yet. But all of the signatures are sewn in. Um, it's a, uh, it's got six signatures. Um, here's the title page. Um, so this, this came from this book and I just, um, tore it, inked it, layered it with some lace, added a stamp and a, a fussy cut. This paper is Tim Holtz. It came from um, a package, I think it was called wallpapers or something, and, it, and this is the actual size of the paper. I didn't cut it down, so it's a little hair small, but you know, this is for me, and it, it I like it. Uh, so coffee dyed paper, some Tim Holtz paper. I chose Tim Holtz papers that had bird themes, eggs, that sort of thing. I chose music paper that had um, a bird themes, so anyway, here attached to this page is a, an, a, an image of Niagara Falls that came from an old school um, atlas. So I just tore that out. It's nice and foxed and yellow and raggedy. And uh, so I, I attached it to the back of this um, music paper. And um, it had some drawings on the back, so <laughs> I had to use a pencil to take that off. And so what I was going to do, um, oh, also, so for my bullet journaling part, I've taken pages out of the, okay, I'm not good at pronouncing this, Leuchtturm journal, a dotted, um, I think it's an A5 size Leuchtturm. How's that for my German? <laughs> um, so I have 
put that in to do my my daily planning so here are some pictures that I cut out of the uh, Niagara Falls package um, I layered some vellum on top just to sort of neutralize the bright colors a bit um, and added a fussy cut of a bird so as I mentioned before, I was a little late in starting my journal this year, so I didn't get an opportunity to do a lot of planning. Yeah, that's life. Um, all of the lace in here, oh, I shouldn't say all of the lace, a lot of the lace in here is handmade. So this is um, some tatted lace. Um, this is some tatted lace that came from a handkerchief which I tore and sewed to that edge. I thought it looked really nice. Um, I've got a handkerchief corner here that I ripped and tore and um, cross added some cross stitches in there. Um, what else have I got in here that's maybe different? I did put in some Edith uh, Holden book pages where it was appropriate so August would start in this um, this layout here um, ledger paper and in the back um, so I've got all my bullet journals in the first five signatures in the six signatures I just added some different stuff so music paper this is a uh, stamp paper I put in some um, washi tape that has sort of a male theme and this page came out of a stamp album so I'm going to put in some addresses um, snail mail addresses of people that I regularly send cards to or that sort of thing so I I uh, I'm thinking about doing like little envelopes or something. Not quite sure yet. This is some music dictation paper. Um, it has the holes from the rusty uh, stapler right there. Uh, actually, one of those staples that I just found. I did add a couple more bullet journal pages because I might want to use um, the 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 dot the dotted graphs to do some more layouts. And here, I was really happy I found uh, the Alouette. Um, this page came out of a magazine, I think, and it's all different um, uh, types of currency. And this is where I am keeping track of my 5,000 in a year savings challenge. So I have done this in the past. Um, I, have to, I have to trick myself into saving so I have a retirement savings plan that has money come right out of my check um, at the bank, my paycheck right at the bank, and it goes automatically into a registered retirement savings plan. Um, whenever I use my debit card, uh, the bank automatically takes $2.50 for each transaction and puts that in a tax-free savings account. And... Um, this 5k in a year savings challenge um, every uh, twice a month so my paydays are the 15th and the 30th each month and I got these figures from something on Pinterest so that's where I got these weird numbers from was Pinterest and um, and it was really simple it was painless and um having that extra cash made some holiday travel possible for us last year because it was just it was just fun money at at uh, at that point so I find um, this works for me um, so this these are a couple of invoice pages that have been glued onto this currency I'll probably put a tab or something on this uh, inked it up um, added some of this trim and two cutouts of, um, I want to say these are, are they starlings? No, they're not starlings. What are they called? Maybe they're starlings. They're not crows. Um, this one I added a little fabric ruffle to. Uh, lots of um, handmade, hand crocheted lace in here. Um, so that's 
that's my journal. How are we doing for time? Okay. So, going back to where we were here. So, um, where the Niagara Falls image is, I'm going to glue this right here. And maybe I will move it to the top. And um, and then maybe I can put a little embellishment here or some words or something. So where's the glue? Here's the glue. It's a shame to cover up the back of this because it's so cute. Maybe I'll just glue, maybe I'll move this down and I'll just glue three sides to, to leave a pocket for a tuck spot. And I happen to have a tag handy that I made a couple nights ago too, so so I'm just gonna put glue on three, these three sides. Um, so I decided to do a craft with me because I enjoy watching other craft with me videos so much. In fact, I find myself re-watching videos um, while I'm crafting that I've already seen and I'm not nearly necessarily watching but it's company <laughs> um, so uh, yeah <laughs> that's me um, so I thought well, maybe there's other people out there that are kind of weird like me and enjoy just having some background noise so I made this tag this was using um, the techniques that uh, Gail Agostinelli showed about using book pages. So this is three layers of book page that I've sewn. Um, I put some this Tim Holtz tissue paper on top, but the colors were really bright. So I used, uh, and I just used a glue stick. Um, the colors were really bright, so I used a piece of sandpaper to sand some of the cover the the color down and that that was really effective and I added some lace um, stitched on this little coffee dyed tab and a button and I gessoed the back so that I could uh, do some writing on the back so that can go right in there I won't shove it all the way in because I don't want to get stuck in the, the glue while it's still wet so I think that's good. This is an old um, postcard from, I don't know, look at the, the cars. Sorry, I gotta grab a tissue. My nose is still running. Probably the 1950s. Um, based on the outfits that people are wearing and the, the des car designs. Um, uh, and postage was four cents. So I, I don't know exactly what year it was, but I really like it. The colors are really subdued. Um, and I thought, can I use that as a pocket to tuck stuff in? I don't know. Maybe I'll hang on to that for some other purpose. I feel like I've already... You know what I could do? I could put it in the envelope with the um, journaling. What do you think of that? And it can just be something extra. Oh no, look at that. It's upside down. <gasps> I bet you were all screaming at me because <laughs> you knew it was going to be upside down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, like I said, this is my journal. So. <laughs> um. I got a few pictures here that I printed on um, hmm, what do you call that? Not glossy, but matte, matte photo paper. And I just uh, printed them really small. So here's a picture of my husband. And the, these um, towels were on the bed like that when we arrived. Um, this is the gift basket. And it's uh, got wine and glasses and a all kinds of stuff in it and it's kind of perched there on the side of the heart-shaped um, hot tub and this is a picture of the sky wheel at Niagara Falls I am 
paralyzed by a terror of heights. But we had tickets. <laughs> so I did it. Um, when we were, we were sitting in the gondola and it kind of gives you a safety message first and describes, you know, you're going to go 170 meters up in the blah, blah, blah. Yeah, uh, yeah. And a total of three rotations. Uh, okay, so one rotation, two rotations, three rotations. And then they went four and then five. I thought I was never getting off this thing. I was okay once we reached sort of the the top of the wheel and coming down but going up scared the snot out of me um so i had to keep my eyes closed my husband captured this picture of me in the gondola with my eyes closed grinning and gritting my teeth and bearing it um and after we got off my oldest son called me on my cell phone while we were on the um, the sky wheel, but I couldn't move to pick up my phone. So after we got off, uh, went to Tim Hortons, got myself a tea and I called my son back. So I'm much happier in this picture. <laughs> and it wasn't bad weather for January. It was really quite mild. And actually there was people there at the bottom of the, the sky wheel playing mini golf. Like this is Canada in January. It was crazy. Anyway, um, so this was the little envelope for our room, and I thought maybe I could do something with this to and tuck the pictures in. Um, but I'm not sure what. Um. And some of these are too big, so I'll have to cut them down. I feel like I should cover this. Um, this is the actual room key. Maybe I'll glue the room key to the front. I could probably even add a key to it. I know I have a ton of charms. Let me just grab the charms. <clears throat> There's absolutely got to be a key in here. Oh, come on. Oh, there's a key. So I can... Okay, I'm gonna glue this first. Let's do that. Hope this is gonna stick. Should, don't you think? So I'm just using some fabric tack. What color is this? This is kind of a, a pewter color. Oh, here's a smaller key. I don't like this one because it has the little loopy on the back of the key. I want to kind of hang something from the end. So that one's silver. Let's see. Got some silver eyelets there and... Where is my... There we are. Okay. So I need to sit down for this part. Alright. So I got my crocodile here. Um, and I'm going to use the itty bitty. I'll use silver, I think, 
I'll use a nitty bitty eyelet, the, the one eighth size, or yeah, one eighth size, right? Um, and I'm not much of an eyeballer. I'm kind of, you know, might be fun is to put it right on the arrow there. So. Punch that hole right on the arrow. That went through like butter. And then pop the eyelet through. And we'll set it with this part. Gosh, that's a lot easier than hammering, isn't it? And I will take my key and these, um, bulb pins. I thought that these were, you know, when I first started seeing them, I thought these were something really special that I had to order from somewhere or something. And then I accidentally saw them at Walmart. So I have black and silver. If they come in other colors, I don't know about it. <laughs> I have black and silver. And one, one box has 150 in them. I can't remember what I paid. Not very much maybe four dollars or something so I will add my key and I'm gonna think about this for a second I guess I want the key on the front so we'll put the pin in first and there we go. And then... Hmm. I guess I won't hang it like that. Well... I'm not thrilled. But it's on there. It's staying on. Okay. These pictures are too big. These ones are not. So, how can I trim these down a bit? Oh. <clears throat> so what if I lay it like that and put the sky wheel on top? And then put the other four pictures inside. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. Still not happy about this. What if I... Hmm. What if I put this at the top? So it kind of hangs out. I have a feeling I'm going to have to get rid of the bulb pin and use a, um, no, oh, ooh, I know what I'll do. I'll get a piece of ribbon. Um, what color ribbon? Maybe like a blue? some blue crochet cotton. Why don't we try that? Let's get rid of this pin. And I'm just gonna... Oh, I thought I'd be able to break it. <laughs> and I will 
grid. Okay, let's put it on the, let's put the key on first. Sounds good. And then I will thread these ends through the front. And run through here. Well, that's going to be a lot better. Good job, Nancy. Good job. Okay. So, we're going to glue these down. So, like I said, this was part of the package. Um, they had like 10 different kinds of packages. You know, some are meant for families and what have you. This was supposed to be the romance package. I'm telling you, there was new, new romance. <laughs> oh no, look at that. The glue turned this all black. Well, I'm starting to fade. What do you think? Well, I think I'm going to just throw that one out. That's a no good. Let's use the Elmer's. Let's see if that works any better. Maybe should have inked up the edge too, but. Ah, c'est la vie. C'est la vie. in there like that. I can't believe that, that. So this must be some kind of special laser printing or something. And I think what I'll do is lift that up and sneak this underneath. I use this glue too. We haven't fun yet, folks. <laughs> All right, there's that. Okay, pretty happy about that. That's gonna move just fine. Um, okay, now I need to cut down these other two pictures. Um, I don't feel comfortable with that. I'm going to put it on the back, trace a little line. I thought maybe I was getting a little nervy there. And then, there's my pencil. So I've joined a challenge um, to clean up my craft supplies. It's a 10 week challenge. And um, I need to get started on it. So what I was thinking is maybe I will take my sewing machine in to get uh, some service and then I won't be as apt to be creating more mess. <laughs> um, at least while the sewing machine's not here. So that's kind of, I ha that's the way I am. I have to trick myself into doing everything that's good. Saving money, cleaning my mess, 
organizing. I just, adulting is hard, right? You'd think I'd be good at it by now. Um, my birthday is coming up on the 22nd of January and it is a milestone birthday for me. I'm going to be 50. I had a friend just recently turn 50 and she she said it was rough for her. I think I'm just going to be fine. I'm already telling people I'm 50. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I don't feel 50. I still feel like I'm 16. So, yeah, I'm going to be just fine. Okay, so I'm going to put these photos in this little slot here. And that's perfect. And I'll just add some glue to the back. I don't want this to come off. I think I'm just going to put it square on there. Now I might find some words that I can put there. Um, but I don't have anything right now. So that is my layout for the trip. Um, I don't think I'm going to use any more pictures. Like I could put a little picture there, but I don't think I'm going to. Let's cut one out and see what it looks like. Um, this one kind of has that yellowish kind of quality to it of a vintage photo. white edges off a bit. Actually, that's not too bad. Um, let's get a little, uh, uh, what do we want? Some cheesecloth? Let's see what we got for cheesecloth. Cheesecloth. Oh, yeah, I've got cheesecloth coming out the hoo-ha. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut a wee bit of that off. That can go back where it came from. Um, alternately, I could stick a piece. Okay. This sort of stuff I've got to get all sorted out. My fabric drawers are overflowing. I'm thinking I'm gonna just get rid of, like cut some small usable pieces and get rid of it. Um, so these are the Canadian Falls, because you can tell because of the horseshoe. American Falls, I don't know what they're called. I know the Canadian side is called horseshoe. What are the American Falls called? A mess. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Put a little glue there just to catch some of the what do you call it? This cheesecloth. Cut that off. I don't want it to look too square, so I just, you know. Sometimes if I don't want something to look too square, like that edge looks too square to me. Let's see if the pinking shears will work. Or it makes it look more raggedy looking. Yeah, that's much good, much gooder. <laughs> that's much gooder than it used to was. Um, okay, now I will. 
Fabri-Tac. I'm glad I kept that. <clears throat> I was going to just throw it right in the recycle bin. The uh, actual taffy. I have I have this candy jar on my desk. And it, it's glass, but it looks like an open sandwich bag. You know, like a plastic, you know, Ziploc bag. <laughs> and I try to keep candy in it. And my youngest son, who works, um, works in the same office as me, he comes by like every 13 minutes and steals my candy. So, and he is a huge fan of saltwater taffy. Okay. So I can throw out the rest of that box. Um, part of the package we got uh, these passes to go for using the bus but we never went on the bus because we were too sick to go anywhere I don't think there's anything in here I want to use so I will pop that in there and I might be able to use these for like applying gesso or paint so maybe I'll hang on to those plastic cards and oh and I brought this this was in the hotel room it says notes from my happy place um, I'm not going to use that for this but and it's just a small pad maybe five sheets or something so maybe I will cut this off and make a little tablet to put someplace else in this journal or some other journal all right so that is I think I can put this back down now. It's nice, kind of hangs over like a little tab. I don't know what I'm going to write on there yet, but I'm happy with how that tag, and this is a tall tag. I, I did three by fives, and then I did three by the width or, of the book. So I went si sideways with all of them. So, like, I mean, lengthwise. So these ones um, are six inches, I think. Actually, they're seven inches. These are two and a half by seven inches. That's, yeah, that's what that is. Um, and some other ones, I did tall ones, but I did them um, crosswise. But I didn't trim the ends. I left them all kind of raggedy like that. Um, I haven't sewn these yet, um, um, but I'm going to. I got a punch to make this um, reinforcement, which is cool. And I got um, a punch where you can put in, I think, one and a half, two, and two and a half inch strips, and it makes this. Um, curved end so I have I made a bunch of those I think I made those on Sunday so I made some long ones I made some these are three by five and um, the tall ones these tall ones I gessoed a bit on both sides so th this side I thought would be the writing side this side would be the um, put some more um, embellishment on there, you layer up some stuff, and I made a whole whack of these uh, three by, sorry, two and a half by five inch ones. Um, I did just a, a couple of those. Um, not that one, but I, I did just a couple of those little ones. Yeah, I've been really enjoying um, the series that Gail started about using up scraps. I'm really enjoying it and I've been crafting right along with her to use up some scraps. Um, I put these in a box that's used for recipes. So I got this at the thrift store for, I don't know, next to nothing. Um, and I've made a couple of these um, corner tuck things. Um, this one, I forget, I forget what she called this, but this flippy thing. Um, so I was gonna add this flippy thing to 
where's the page I have here so I uh, I put on this handkerchief here but I don't like the way it looks on the back so I thought I would cover it up with this uh, so I think I'll just do glue on the outer sides so that something like something like that could be tucked in let's do that now while I've got the book open and the glue out and this paper is f from the original book which uh, dates back to 1917 So it is uh, a little fragile, um, but the, uh, the, I think the paper that I glued inside will hold it together. I love the color, and I love that it says birds here. So I'm I'm going with a bird theme for this book. So I tried my best to get um, the titles. I love how this miters together. Oh, I thought that was great. So you can tuck there and there. I uh, I know that she credited um, Patricia um, with this idea, but I hadn't seen this video of, of Patricia's. Um, this one I cut some of the um, bulk off of it um, so it wasn't so thick. The other ones I don't think I, oh, that one I did. That one I didn't. So I must have been pretty smart then. Um, all right. So thanks so much for watching. If you've watched this far, I guess that means that, uh, I wasn't completely boring and, um, you also enjoy crafting along with YouTube videos. Um, let me know what you think. Pop a comment in and, um, if this is content that you enjoy, let me know because I'm happy to do this again. Um, I am just about at a thousand subscribers now, so that's pretty exciting for me. And um, I know some of my older subscribers originally came on board when I was doing just thrift hauls. I c I'll continue to do thrift hauls because I, I really enjoy doing that um, and I, I did a little bit of thrifting today which I will want to share so I will continue to do some thrifting hauls and um, yeah we'll just uh, we'll just carry on so thanks so much again for watching and we will talk to you again soon